Hi, welcome back to Burbex, Bryn's Urban Exploration. Today, I pushed the boat out a little bit, probably literally, and I brought you to the abandoned shipyards here in Shanghai. Right now, we're sitting on top of a crane, looking down at all of the shipyards, all of the abandoned shipyards, and the view is incredible. Take a look out of the window. We're going to take a look around here, see what else we can find, but this crane is certainly the crown jewel of where I've been to today. And don't forget, if you love urban exploration with a China twist, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to ding, ding, ding that bell for great new videos from Burbeck Sprint's Urban Exploration every week. Let's go.
Fakt ne. Öpex. It says that this is 30 tons. It's a lot. Oh, look at this foam. That is awesome. Very high voltage. I can't switch it. Holy shit, this place is so scary. The echoes in here are insane. some kind of mechanism in the middle. What's that? Oh man, it's so hot in here. Oh, at the top. At the top, I mean, super dark in here. It's the control room. Holy shit, we made it. You can see everything from up here. That is an incredible view. That view of the bridge is amazing.
What was that noise? See, I'm sitting in the control booth for this crane. We're right at the top, we're pretty high up. There's like all of these things. There's even like a little radio. Hello, come in, come in. The interesting thing is that while this part of the dockyards are still abandoned, just further up over there, if you look, closer to the bridge, you can actually see where they disassemble ships. So ships get brought here and then they're disassembled for scrap. What's absolutely amazing is that somebody probably spent a lot of hours up here and actually they kind of lived up here. You can see there's their bed. They've been sleeping here and it looks like they had a little life up here. I think you'd have to have a pretty good head for heights. I don't really have a good head for heights. Right now we are super high up. It's pretty unlikely that the security here are going to catch me. But what does worry me is that because we're right next to the river, the river police go past quite regularly and I hope they don't spot me. Let's go out and see what we can see outside. It's a very long way up. I'm not sure I want to climb that one. Don't forget, if you want to come out exploring with me in Shanghai, be sure to leave a comment in the box below, or you can direct message me on Instagram, burbex underscore brin, which you can find also in the description below. I'm going to get off this crane now, and we're going to go and head more into the factory area. There's a few cameras around here, but I don't think they're pointing in the right direction. Being in this enclosed space like this actually reminds me of when I climbed a water tower in Changchun and that had some incredible echoes. You can check that out in the link in the top right hand corner. But now I'm going to see if I can get out of here. Burbex! Let's go. two or three cameras on that tower on the right. There's the dog that welcomed me here as well. At least the dog is friendly. Thank you. 